Hi, I'm Lopa Subramanian, and I'm going to show you ARIS self-service reporting. ARIS self-service reporting is a core capability within ARIS Innovator using which users, not just administrative users, but all users can create, share, and save their own reports. Now, I'm logged into ARIS Innovator 11, which I can access simply using Internet Explorer or Firefox without needing to install any plugins or anything. So I'm looking at all my parts within Aris Innovator and I can run a report that I created earlier. Now this report shows me a chart on the top with my make parts and my buy parts and that splits out the status of those. And I have a total number of parts in this report that's 13 and Below I have a table that shows me the parts and the documents broken out by state of the part. I'm going to show you how I can quickly create this report as an end user. So I simply go to reports and click on new report. Now I can see all of the items that I can report on. I'm going to search for part. When I select part, I can see all of the items that are related to part. So I can simply pick document, which is what I want to report on. And then I want to go add some properties for this report. So here, the things I've selected show up. So as an end user, I can simply look at the properties, look at the items, and then add the properties that I want to add. So I want to add the part number, name, maybe the revision, and the state of the part. Oh, I also want to know if it's a make, make or buy part, so I can add that here. Now those are the properties from part. Now I also want to select some from document. So here I want to add the document number, the name, and maybe the state of the document. Now, if I don't like the way the um, display label shows up or the column header shows up in my report, I can simply overwrite that and change it here. I can also do things like, say I have a created on date. I can add formatting, so maybe I want a specific type of date format to show up. I can move columns around, so I can do that here. And I also want to group this by state of the part, so I can choose to visually group this by state. And then I also want to add a chart to show me the state of the part. But I also want to break this out by the make or buy property of the part. And I want to show a legend and I want to show the percentage. So at any point I can do a preview to see what my report looks like. In a few minutes I was able to create this report for myself without having to go to an administrator. Now, not only can I create the report and save it, but I can also share this with my fellow users. So here, I, by default, this is private, but I can share this with everybody or share this with specific people within my company. So say I want to share this with all of engineering, I can do that here, and I can either give them full access or partial access such that they can only run the report but not modify. But here I'm choosing to allow other users in the engineering group to modify the report as they see fit. So once I save this report, it's available to me both on the parts and also in the My Reports section where I can simply double click and run this report. So I can double click run the report and so can the other users that I've shared this report with. 
To learn more, go to www.airs.com and thank you for watching.